Okay, so I put some JB weld on that spot. I don't know, it's not the best, but we'll see if it'll work or not. And I'm going to see if I can get this fan back on the water pump here. And I don't know if I can. Um, I need something to get it on tight. And I don't know if I have the right tools, but we'll figure it out. And then we got to fix this. Belt tensioner is bad. And some work with the gold plug system. And that shouldn't be too big of a deal. And we should be able to have a good running truck here. But it's stuck. It's not going to move here. I know it. I'm not going to mess with it. You can see. So, But anyways, we're going to do an update video on that. And uh, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay, so I got the fan just hand tightened, so I gotta figure out how to tighten that bolt so it don't fall off. I got JB well down there, and I'm just gonna leave the fan shroud off, I think, and make it more dangerous so it can fly off and hit you and kill you. And so I'm gonna do that and go from there. Alright, look at that kind of redneck stuff. I don't know, I should get that in a little tighter there. And hopefully that chain will let me tighten it. Probably got it on Ron. Well, we'll find out, won't we? And I can't film it at the same time and show you, but got this big wrench here. So, see if we can get it on there tight and have it fall off and go through the hood this time. Okay, I got the fan on. Should be tight, I hope. I tight it as tight as I could. I almost broke off the chain doing it and the belt. So, it should be on there good now, I hope. If not, we'll maybe catch it on film and see some nice uh, fan flying everywhere. fan when it's spinning like that. It's charging good. We'll let it run for a while and we'll see if the fan will fly off or whatever. It's charging good. I'm waiting for that fan to fly off. It probably will. I don't want to be near it. <laughs> Not really. What I should do is probably put the camera right next to the fan there on the air cleaner so if it does fall off I'll have some epic uh, video for you guys. I know it's not going to move, it's... I have to pull it up. Yeah, she's still on now. I'm not going to mess with it. Let it melt a little bit more. Just run it and then check the fan again. the system and see if she leaks and then shut it off. It's shaking here though. Might have a little fuel leak somewhere, it's hesitating. 
have return lines leaking, that's right. I forgot the return lines leaking, so it's probably got air in the fuel. Oh well. We'll get her fixed. Yeah, she's running pretty good. I can feel a little hesitation while well, that stupid tack don't like to stay up. She's running pretty good. We'll let her pressurize the system for a while and let it run and then shut her off and check the fan and make sure everything's good and go from there. Well, the fan's on there, but uh, uh, something squirted me in the glasses, but you can see the radiator cap is bad now. One thing goes, they all go. Uh, it don't look like it's even leaking out of there where it was pressured up. Or where I put JB weld on there, so uh, it's, it's dry. It's just coming out of here, and the fan was spraying it, and it was spraying on the battery and everywhere else, and making it look nice in here. And other than that, it should be set to go. And put the manual glow plugs in there, and um, hopefully we'll see if the radiator will run it again. And oh, it's hot, so yeah, it's pressurized. Uh, so it shouldn't leak, but uh, yeah, she's a good runner. She's got a little bit of a rough idle. I, it's, I can smell feel, so I'm sure the return lines and no all rain kits are leaking as usual. <laughs>